Do you guys want to get 50,000 shooting badge progress per game and 150,000 per hour? If you do, make sure to watch this whole video because I'm going to show you guys the best shooting badge method in NBA 2K21 current gen. And throughout the video, I'm going to give you guys tips to make this method as easy as possible. Before you guys start any games, you guys want to head over to options, go to settings. And if you have no shooting badges, you want to start out on pro. And once you get your first shooting badge, you want to put that on hot zone hunter and then put it on all star. So if you have shooting badges, you want to put it on All-Star. If you don't, you want to start on Pro until you get your first shooting badge. And the reason you don't want to play on Superstar or Hall of Fame is that even though it gets you more badge progress, it's way harder to get open. I've tried playing all the modes, and the multiplier is a little bit higher than All-Star on Hall of Fame and Superstar, but All-Star is barely harder than Pro. You still get a multiplier, and it's way easier to get badge progress than if you play on Superstar and Hall of Fame with this method. When you guys start up a game, the first thing you want to do on defense is press left on the d-pad, call a 2-3 zone, press left on the d-pad again, and then call a half-court trap. This will make your defensive possessions go by a lot faster. As you can see, because of the zone, Dennis Schroeder left Malik Beasley wide open. He misses the shot. And in the very next possession, Anthony Davis double teams D-Lo. He passes. Anthony Davis double teams again, and they score right away. This is going to give you a lot more possessions, and you're going to be able to get a lot more shots up. This method is really simple. All you want to do is run to the three-point line, pump fake, then do a sidestep across your body, and then you'll be wide open. I'm going to play that clip one more time for you guys. As you can see, my pivot foot is my left foot, and I put it across my body, and then Kyrie Irving backs up a ton. But in this next clip, my pivot foot is my right foot, and because the defender is already to my right, Kyrie Irving gives me enough space already, but he doesn't move back as much. So you want to pay attention to your pivot foot when you're doing this method. As you can see, once again, I pivot towards Mike Conley, and he backs up a ton. During this method, when you're walking up the court, you also want to look out for defenders just leaving you wide open. Sometimes I just walk up the court and they don't guard me. It takes them like two seconds to pick up, which is really weird. And once again, right here, I didn't even need to do the jab step. I did it just in case. But before I did the jab step, Mike Conley left me wide open. Like, look at all this space before I even jab step. But once again, I just do it just in case and so that I can get even more space. I know that I have my meter on in these clips, but once you master your jump shot, make sure to turn your jump shot meter off because when you do time your shot well, you will get a good release. And this is especially good if your three pointer is a little bit lower. That extra boost for good timing when you have your meter off will help a lot. Also, if you're using a custom jump shot, make sure it's set to the fastest speed just so you can get your shot off quicker and it's harder for the defender to contest. And if you don't use a custom jump shot, just put the jump shot you use in the jump shot creator, put it to the fastest speed just to make sure it's the fastest it can be. Now going into the badges part of this method, like I said before, you want to start out on pro if you have zero badges. Once you get your first shooting badge, switch your difficulty to all star and put on bronze hot zone hunter. Then you want to max out hot zone hunter. After that, you want to max out range extender so you can shoot from deep. I'm going to show you guys a separate part of this method. It's still the same method, but once you get range extender, this method is going to be 10 times easier. Then after range extender, you want to max out dead eye for contest. Then you want to max out green machine so that way when you get good releases, they're actually green and they actually go in. Then if you have extra badges after that, you want to max out volume shooter just because you're going to be taking all the shots. Then you want to max out flexible release just in case you get a bad release, it'll still go in. And then for the last two slots, if you get 30 shooting badges, you want to max out tireless shooter so that way end game you can still hit your shots. And then pump fake maestro just because you do end up pump faking a lot and you get a little bit of a penalty from it, but this badge is going to decrease the penalty. Like I said before, once you get range extender, this method is going to be a lot easier. You'll be able to start spotting up from deep when you jab step and they'll give you even more space. And I know this clip is only from like bronze limitless range area, but it's way better than just being on the line because they sometimes guard you tight. Right here, I just walk up the court. I walk up a little bit more to make sure I'm in my hot zone and I just pull the shot and it's wide open. When you're standing in the limitless range area, it's crazy how much space they give you. And this right here is the method that I love to do once I get limitless range. I just run up the court and then I just stop moving at the three point line or a little bit behind the three point line because I have range extender. And look at this, they give you so much space. It's kind of like a stutter step where you start sprinting and then you just stop. As you can see, I had 18 three pointers in this game shooting 95%. So you just walk up the court, you start running for a split second and then you stop and they're gonna think you're gonna keep running and you'll be wide open from the three. And once again, even if you do catch and shoot before you do the jab step, if you're standing limitless, it takes them even longer to guard you. And with this method, you can just take a full sprint up the court. You can walk and then sprint like I did in this clip. And then you just stop a little bit behind the three-point line or even on the three-point line, and you'll be wide open. Look at this. Devontae Graham's not even guarding me. It looks like he gets a contest. 
but it ends up being wide open. And this was actually the game from the intro. I ended up scoring 113 points on five minute quarters. As you can see, I played 16 minutes and shot 31 for 32 from three. And that's how you can get 150,000 shooting badge progress per hour. I got 50,000 in that game in 16 minutes of playtime. I just rounded it up to 20 minutes because of all the loading screens. So if you take that 50,000, you multiply it by three, multiply the 20 minutes by three, that's 150,000 shooting badge progress per hour. And I do play normal my career. And once you get further in that my career, you'll get more minutes. Shooting badge progress will be way easier, but make sure you also play my player nation because that helps a lot too. Once you do get range extender, instead of just running up the court, stopping, and then pulling the shot, you can just sprint up the court, press triangle and circle at the same time to do a pass fake, and it'll just stop you on a dime, and you can pull the shot right here. You can see I'm sprinting. I totally stop. The defender doesn't know because of the pass fake, and then you'll be left wide open. And because my my player tends to get tired late game if you're up by 25 or more you can just pause it ask to sim out with vc it ends the game you get all your shooting badge progress you get your vc you get everything it just finishes the game and you can start a new one up just like that 